with an incredibly close battle for both the Formula One Constructors and Drivers Championships, as well as an intense battle in the midfield, there was a lot to watch for in this year's United States Grand Prix. In this video, we will look at five things we learned from the race. Let's get started. 1. Perez versus Bottas is just as important as Hamilton versus Verstappen. While we are all focused on who will win the Drivers' Championship, there's another crucial battle that we should be watching for, and that is Valtteri Bottas versus Sergio Perez. This is because after the United States Grand Prix, Red Bull is still very much in contention for the Constructors' Championship, trailing Mercedes by only 23 points. If Bottas or Perez have a disappointing last five races of the season, this could be the difference maker. Although their Formula One future is secured, with Perez staying at Red Bull and Bottas going to Alfa Romeo, there's still a lot of pressure on these drivers to close the season strong. Both drivers are experienced and have been performing well recently, with Bottas winning the last race and Perez finishing P3 in Austin. It'll be really exciting to see which of these drivers performs better over the last five races. 2. Daniel Ricciardo will play a crucial role for McLaren. After a challenging start to his McLaren career, Daniel Ricciardo has had a recent resurgence in Monza, where he won the race and scored the fastest lap. He has since channeled his anger and frustration into his racing, and it seems to have worked for him. He is now well adjusted to his McLaren and performed very well at the US Grand Prix. Critically, he finished ahead of Ferrari driver Carlos Sainz and helped McLaren stay ahead of Ferrari in the Constructors' Championship. After the US Grand Prix, the race for third place is very close between McLaren and Ferrari, with McLaren ahead by just three and a half points. With millions of dollars on the line, Daniel's improved form could be the difference maker in the remaining races for McLaren. 3. Formula One has gained popularity in the United States. During the broadcast, it was mentioned that there were 400,000 people in attendance for the US Grand Prix throughout the weekend. In general, there has been a different buzz in the air around this year's Grand Prix in Austin. The growing popularity of the Netflix series Drive to Survive and the close championship race have piqued interest for Formula One in the United States. Perfect weather conditions and the close race between Hamilton and Verstappen today made it even better. With the second U.S. race in Miami next year, expect the popularity of the sport to grow even further. It would be amazing to see an American driver enter Formula One or the American team Haas to become more competitive. If either of these scenarios happens, the popularity of the sport would skyrocket in the United States. 4. The whole team matters. Ferrari versus McLaren and Mercedes versus Red Bull is not entirely going to be decided by the drivers. The race strategy and pit stops are going to play a crucial role as well. We could see that today in the race in Austin. A slow pit stop potentially cost Carlos Sainz two positions as he ended up finishing the race behind Daniel Ricciardo and Valtteri Bottas. Red Bull's decision to pit Verstappen very early in the race to undercut Hamilton made a difference today. Hamilton was able to catch Verstappen but was unable to pass him towards the end of the race. If the scenario was reversed and Hamilton had been ahead towards the end, would Verstappen have been able to pass him for the win? We'll never know. But in a close championship fight, one thing is for sure. Strategy and pit stops are going to make a big difference in the remaining races. 5. Charles Leclerc is a difference maker. Ferrari's Charles Leclerc had an amazing Grand Prix today, finishing P4, just a few seconds behind Sergio Perez. Charles has proved throughout the season that given the right car, he's a championship-level driver. As an example, he almost won the British Grand Prix earlier this year, finishing P2, just a few seconds behind winner Hamilton. If Ferrari can provide Leclerc with the right car, he could produce a performance that could win third place for the team. It is going to be really exciting to see what Leclerc and Ferrari can do in the last five races of this season. One thought that came to my mind during the US Grand Prix was that Formula One would be way more exciting if there were more than 10 teams on the grid. Do you agree with me? What are your thoughts? Do you think that Formula One should have more than 10 teams? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.